with that lactose, baby. Yeah. All right, today I'm building a support. I, I guess uh, some people call it a bed extender. It's really just a rest that's going to extend out about uh, 40 inches from the hitch. So I placed this inside my hitch on this end. And the hitch, the length of the hitch that I was comfortable having it in there, eight and a half inches. And then I marked the outside of the hitch receiver and it's about 39 and three quarter inches, so 40 inches. So I gotta make a cut right here. So here's my drawing, right? That's my drawing. All right, so now I need another piece. And we're gonna make this one 50 inches long. And I'm making it 50 inches long because it's gonna be the width of the bed in between the fenders that are raised up into the bed. We're gonna cut off this a little bit to square it up. Yeah, this stuff is no joke. It's quarter inch thick, so it's taking a little bit more. You can see how thick it is. See how thick that is? Here, buddy. Even this piece is heavy. Could use it to do a little workout. Uh, yeah. So this is the top part, this is the T. And the two ends are gonna sit off on the side. Like a so. Right. So it'll be up maybe about like this high. So this is I make it six inches, eight inches, plus plus two inches for the bottom, so ten inches. So if I do ten inches, we got twenty. We're good. All right, now we got our next piece. So this is going to be joined. So we got the two sections. And we're going to join them together, so each piece will be eight inches. I think that's what I'll do. Rah. So this is receiver, uh, hitch receiver material. Or hitch receiver square stock, I should say. The difference is, is that it's 0.219 wall thickness, and it allows a two-inch piece of square stock to fit into it. See, so like that. So that's what we're going to use to join the two sections together. And I have these guys here, hitch pins that will uh, zinc uh, hitch pins that we'll use to join them together so I can disassemble it because this will be way too heavy to lift it as one piece. That is interesting. So this is, the one will be attached to the bottom piece and the other one will be attached to the T at the top. I have to drill a 5 8 inch hole through here and through here. All right, so now that the stock is all cut up and ready to get finished, before I start drilling, I'm going to finish it off with the Eastwood CT. Okay, 
looks good. Eastwood SCT. Yeah, buddy. So that the overall length is 16 and a half inches. Okay. So we need to drill through these. We need to measure. It's around here someplace. Right, there's a light. Woo! This is some good smelling stuff. All right, so this is um, the Dycom Steel Blue. It's layout fluid, so we're gonna let that dry, and then we'll come back and uh, take a look at it. All right, so I got this one here. This is where the uh, hole needs to be drilled through. So that is, I don't know if you can see that, but it is right there. Here's where the nail punch went through. And so now we'll see if that's in the center. Yep, directly in the center. How about it? Yeah, look at that. So that nail, that center punch worked. Well, on this guy. Starting to break through, I can feel it. Digging this drill press is a good investment. Okay, and then we need two and a half inches. So two and a half inches. And then we'll do this here, which this will be accurate. Make steel C25. We gotta swap this. Okay, so it tells you here on the setup, which is pretty cool. Okay. Diameter 35. One quarter, baby. Dang! So this will be the first time I'm doing MIG, and everybody says learning MIG is easier. We're just gonna put a little tack here to kind of lock it into place. Impressive. All right, so you can hear the valve clicking and stuff. That's cool. That's what it looks like. Just so pretty. Need some Earl. Oh yeah, drilling away. Getting our drill on. Yes, drill, drill baby, drill. All 
Here's the hole all the way through. Yeah, buddy. Let's see if the uh, thingy works with it. Yes, sir, and that's the way it works. All right, so I'm grinding off this uh, pack wood. All right, so I'm about to weld uh, these pieces on, and I need to put a bevel on here. Just gonna do a little tech weld, like right here. Oh, net a win. All right, well, I got to do the other piece. So again, I'm doing this to force myself to learn, making mistakes, so I don't make them again. I'll give it a try. Let's see if we can lock this in here now. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we can lock it in. That's good. Okay, so now we'll try this one here. All right, so that's how that works. It was a little shaking around and stuff. It's all right. All right, this is how I would transport stuff. I'd use this here, moving blanket, right? Uh, which will probably blow away. Uh -huh. Let's see if it stays. And then we put our piece on here like so. What in the world? This oh. <laughs>